Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. So, it is time for us to let everybody out of stasis and see what happens. I'm guessing, if I remember correctly, the astronaut is quite hey, dead. Sweetie. Can yeah, I he looks talk a little bit dead. Joy, what do you want? You seem like you know your way around this ship. Have you been looking for something? Yeah, my sister. She's on the ship somewhere. Your sister? How do you know that? We were together when the aliens took us from home. I saw her on the table next to mine when I woke up on this ship. Well then, I'll help you keep an eye out for her. Okay? Aw, thanks so much. You're the best. Hi, lady. Alright, so having done that, we can now talk to some of these people. Well, except the astronaut, he's very dead. Oh. Hey, Elliot. <laughs> Where am I? What's... what's going on? Who are all these people? Um, your uniform looks familiar. Uh, that's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Oh, I can't press buttons to answer questions. What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Last people I saw were... Oh my god! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. Um, I'm definitely not an alien. <laughs> like, you're a doctor and can't tell them looking at me that I'm not an alien. No alien. I'm definitely not an alien, pal. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you assumed human form. I heard they can do that. Or you are human, but they took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are! I do know that they're weak to bullets. Um, if I were with the aliens, the last thing I would have done is release you. Yeah, that's probably a good answer. I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute! My men! My unit! Have you seen them? Uh, nope. What if they're lost, or frozen, like I was? Or even dead? I'm responsible for them! Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you gotta help me find out what happened to them! Uh, yeah, sure, let me see what I can do about that. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Yeah, you and me both, pal. Um, let me have you captured. What do you think the aliens want with us? Can you assist us medically if we need it? I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds. Some kind of biological gel. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. Boy, do I have a gift for you. Can you make me some adapted biogel? Sure, here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. Side effects, you say? Did you give me anything? Didn't do anything. Oh, there it is, okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Spaceman. I'm taking your space suit. Sorry, Colonel. What about you, Soma? Hope this is important. You got anything else to say? Do you want to repair our gear? I don't need you to repair my gear. My gear is fine. Uh, later. Yeah, yeah. Just don't think about ditching me. We're in this together. Sure, sure. Oh, hey. Let's go talk to the samurai. お主は何者ここはどこだ拙者向け拙者向けはどこだあ、what if he can do anything. I think the cowboy and the samurai really only just kill things for you. Where are they? Where are the little buggers? The aliens? They're mostly dead? 
But yeah, they're just kind of all around the place. Aliens? That what you call them? So you woke me, huh? Who the hell are you? Uh, just trapped on this shit. On this ship. Eh. Do I really look that stupid, kid? This ain't a ship. I don't hear water, and I sure as hell don't feel us rocking. So tell me another one. Besides, you don't look trapped to me. How do I know you ain't working with those little green bastards? Uh, if I were working with the aliens, why would I set you free? You got a point there, kid. Let me out of that... thing does count for something. Tell you what. I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. I'm sure you will. Alright, well, um, now that we got that dude's spacesuit, I guess we should talk to the little girl and see what she has to say. I don't know which one of these paths actually goes outside. Probably that one. What do you got, Sally? Oh no! That poor astronaut! Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air in part of the ship, so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on. And I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. <laughs> this is fun! Yeah. What do you know about uh, this Toshiro Kago guy? Um, I think he's from the Earth's past. There are people frozen all over the ship that the aliens grabbed, wearing funny old-time clothes and stuff. Okay, well, see you later, I guess. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. I am one of the grown-ups. Uh... Yeah? Need something? Where's Sally going? Where did Sally go? I mean, I guess we're just going out here? Uh, who should we bring with us? I'm really tempted to bring the samurai, just for fun. You know, we'll bring the samurai. He seems like a fun guy. Okay, he doesn't. I guess I can't talk to him, so that's fine. What about you, Paulson? Well, what do you want? Uh, I need an extra gun in the hangar bay. What? Okay, I guess we're going to the hangar bay. Well, now you're speaking my language. Hell yeah, I'll come with you. Alright. Uh, does there any other dialogue options that I'm super interested in? Nah. Suit yourself. Alright. Um, I guess we're going... Sally. I guess we're going this way. Since this is the door Sally just unlocked. What's up? What's your story, Tucker? Soma. Ah, damn it. Alright, whatever. I don't know where the heck I am. Oh, this is a dead end. There's some more alien epoxy and stuff. I mean, that's nice and all, but I don't really need any of this. I mean, I can sell it. Or, you know, maybe use something use it for something later, but Yeah, I guess we have to go back to the big junction room and take all the branching paths out there. Drop the lone gunman with you. Just stay out of the way of my bullets when I'm shooting the alien. And you'll do this fight. What you want? What? I wasn't trying to talk to you. Uh, bye. Be careful, lady. Yeah, sure. Fine, fine. I get the message. You know, you were warmer when you were frozen. Okay, good. He's coming with me. Uh, which... So that's where we came in. Wait, there's two doors over there. Whatever, I'm pretty sure we didn't use, we haven't done this one yet, so we'll go over here first. I don't think it matters what order we do them in. Door to robot assembly, and this looks working. 
Teleportation matrix to maintenance level. Okay, and then what's the door on the other side? Door to engine room. Okay, what do I need to do? Uh, destroy generator, robot assembly. Wait, can I just bring everybody? Or can I only have one person with me? Because it's still giving me the optional quest to, to ask for help. So maybe I can get them all to follow me, and maybe one of them speaks Can't Japanese. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually miss the. Hope this is important. Um, da, 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 da. I, yeah, I can't ask you to come with me. What do you know about the Japanese guy? No idea what his deal is. Sounds like that gibberish you can pick up on the radio in some parts of the wasteland. Okay. Go on, don't let. Yeah, sure. Um, where's the medic? Will he come with me? Oh, hey, what's up? Do you know anything about the Japanese guy? He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Okay, uh, I also can't ask you to come with me, so... Okay, tell me if you need medical assistance. I guess we can only have one person with us at a time, or maybe Paulson is the only guy we can really get to help us. There's gotta be some way to get the samurai to help you, but maybe he just follows you around later. Oh, well. Let's go, uh... I guess just go through this door over here. Hang on. Can we get down to the lower parts of this? Well, more importantly, is there a way back up if we do that? Because I don't want to jump down there and then get stuck. Because I see containers down there. Ah, oh, we'll worry about that later. So I guess we just go straight through this door here. Ah, good. You don't sneak when I do. That's fantastic. Whoa, hang on a tick. I don't know anything about anything in this section, so I'm heading back to the engine core. What? Okay. I guess they each have their own specific section of the ship that they correspond to? You know what? I think I'll just leave them there for now. I'm sure we'll be fine. Although this place seems very dead. Oh, that's oh, one of the workers. Alright, well, we'll leave him for now. You know what, screw it. Yeah, alright, I was right that was gonna happen. Wait, what? They run like five feet and then they just forget about me. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anybody else, and nobody came running when he started shouting. There's gotta be some kind of security around here, though, right? Oh, it's gonna be robots, isn't it? Gonna be robots all over the place. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Oh, there you are. You know? Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay, bye. Uh, where are we likely to find a generator around here? I'm just going to go to the opposite end of the level from where they started me, on the basis that that's probably where it is. Hmm, I don't actually... I don't know that, uh, stealth fielding our way all around the places. Wait, I can run, can't I? Ha! 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 It doesn't affect my sneaking. Okay, generator, generator, generator. Generator. What looks like a generator? Nothing out here. Hmm. Oh. I oh don't know, that's a robot being constructed. This looks like a separate area. Maybe. More 
robots around. There's a button. I hope that's a button. Let's press and see what happens. Uh, rewire controller for proximity explosion. Remotely overload turret circuitry. I don't really know what... Do that one. Here at all their turrets. Good. We're good. Uh... I feel like I should maybe sort out all the robots that are floating around. But at the same time, they have really terrible perception, and I have really good stealth, so we don't need to waste the ammo for it. Although, this seems to be a dead end. I think we need to go the other way. Is there another door that I can see from here? I can see more robots, for sure. I still don't see anything that looks like a generator. Maybe... No, that's just a box with a yellow thing on it, isn't it? All right, well, stealth. Ah. Okay, there's a door. Pardon me. I can't uh, do anything with this. How about this. just happened there. Oh, my arms broke, so it's Oh god. I thought I got rid of the turrets. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, hang. yeah, alright, yeah, go on, get out of here. Alright, well now at least I know what I need to do. Vaguely. Just gotta be careful with our energy cells. So once I overload the thing, it will explode, <laughs> and I need to, you know, get the hell out. Also, I guess I can leave the red shirts alone. They, you know, they run around a lot and they shout, but they don't actually seem to do anything beyond that. And as long as I'm stealthed, I should be able to avoid any trouble they're trying to bring down on my head. Maybe I can get in that. What's in that side room? We never went in there. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Robots are in the side room. Oh, I see. The teleport opens and the robots come out. I see how it is. Well, I'm just gonna... These guys go on by. How did that guy... Oh, it's he just fell over. Pardon me. Alright, and then up here, we've got that little console, which does something? I'm not 100% sure what. Let's see. We've got rig for proximity ex Last time we did the turret one, which made something explode. What if I rig for proximity explosion? I blow myself up is what happens if I do that. Good info. Very good info. Whoa, yes, I know we don't know anything about this place. Alright. So, the turret explosion one is the one we want. Presumably, what you do is you set it for proximity explosion, then you back away. And then if somebody else walks into it, the explosion will kill them. But I don't know how that really helps me. Because there's no one around to walk into it. I think I can make the jump over there. I can. Hmm. Well, this is not a bad spot to be. Actually, can I get down from here without breaking my legs? Uh, hmm. This may have been... Oh, hang on, I think I can just scooch down here. Haha! -ha. I am a ninja. Okay, come on here, there's that guy who's fallen over again. More robots. 
Okay, turn this off. How many energy cells did we use doing that? Just running across the room like that. Not that many. Alright, maybe I don't need to be quite as conservative with the stealth field as I have been. Alright, so... Uh, overload turret circuitry. Boom. Then, stealth. We run across here. Uh, one of the robots is stuck inside a box, which is interesting. That turret is still alive, so that's the one that shot me last time. So what I need to do here is get this and then run. Ow. Okay, good. Because I didn't get blown up this time, the turret didn't see me. It would help if I had a gun out. There, there we go. No. Good. Okay, and there's our stealth field. Perfect timing. And then I guess we go through here. We should probably look around, though, because there might be more stuff. Let's just have power modules in them. So, I guess... Hmm? Oh, that's just that thing, so it's bugging out. I guess... The turret thing just damaged that one turret a bunch. Oh, hey, turret. Or, uh, teleporter. Can I use this? Matrix to robot assembly. Probably don't want to play around with that. That sounds like a bad idea. Okay, what's going on in here? Lots of robot parts. Oh, hello. What are you? I don't like you. Okay, they seem to be kind of frozen in place. Ah, it's waking up the robots. Alright. Awkward. Uh, let's scoot on through here real quick. Oh, it's about to run out. Oh, this is bad. Ha! Huh. I still have terrible perception. Okay, so did that just use one energy cell? No. Okay, that used a few energy cells. Still, we got plenty. And I'm just going to... Explode! Huh. Alright. I think... They really don't like my corpse. I think that's the point where we're going to have to start shooting things, rather than just running past them with the stealth field. Um, because, Whoa, yeah. Whoa, hang. I don't actually know what I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure that's the room we're supposed to be in. But I have no idea what I'm actually looking for in there. So I need the room clear so that I can look around. Um, anyways, I think that is probably where we are going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.